Hey friends, today I'm going to be learning how to fly a plane. I am so excited. My friend Jonathan owns a flight school here in Orlando and we've been going up in his plane for the past couple of months now and he asked me if I want to go grab dinner at this restaurant that is on a landing strip and I said yeah of course I want to go and uh, he said why we're at it, why don't you learn how to fly and I gladly accept it. I'm kind of scared but I think I'm going to do it and the best thing about all of this is we're going to be be able to fly over Disney well as close as we can get to Disney and I'm just so excited so let's go eat some food learn to fly a plane and have a beautiful Disney kind of day anywho's let's go do this and there she is, Cinderella Castle in the Magic Kingdom. I can't believe in just a short couple minutes, we're gonna be soaring through the clouds above her. Honestly, this is so surreal. Like, I've been trying to say yes to more things, especially things that I would never do, only because I'm just so grateful to be alive and have these opportunities that I wanna make each day count. I just wanna feel something, you know? I wanna live a little, and this is living life to the max. I can't wait for my mom to see this video. Disney World and Disneyland are both what you call a no-fly zone and you can't fly below 3,000 feet and you can't fly within three miles of both Disneyland and Walt Disney World and we're going to be following all of the proper flight restrictions. You know, Jonathan is a trained professional and he works very close with the FAA, the Federal Aviation Administration. I trust him with my life uh, and I'm excited. We're going to be taking off three times and then landing the plane three times because we have a pit stop we need to make. Uh, there's a piece uh, to a headset that we can plug into the camera and our mic so you can hear us while we're up there But it's at uh, Jonathan's uh, friends like kind of like building and it's on a farm So we're gonna be landing on a farm just to grab a headset just to go to Daytona And I think I'm gonna fly on the way home I think they're gonna fly over there so that I can video like Disney and show you guys how amazing it is And trust me, we're gonna get really like a good look at it even though we can't get within 3,000 feet We're gonna look like we're right on top of it because it's so big and I'm just so excited. I hope you guys enjoy this video because this is something I never thought I would ever be able to do or even like talk myself into doing. And this is my friend Jonathan right here standing up on the plane. Howdy. But uh, yeah, you own your own flight school, right? I do. Yep. So I've got JMP Aviation at Orlando Executive Airport. We've got a fleet of Cessna 172 and Piper P-28 aircraft, so we train people how to get their ground pilot's license, their instrument rating, their commercial pilot license, so they can go from zero to eventually the airlines with us. We teach everybody uh, all the licenses that the FAA offers. We do it in fixed-wing airplanes, and uh, if they want to become flight instructors, we also do that as well. Wow, well, I'm ready. I'm excited. Look at this bad boy. There you go, sir. Oh, thanks. Thanks for flying with Sean Airlines. Be ready. <laughs> all right. I'm gonna try it. Oh, there's a little kickstand here. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna check the fuel real quick. Okay, you check the fuel. Oh boy, I'm gagging. <laughs> it's not so tight in here. It's actually pretty spacious, especially back here. Being in the back seat, you have more room than you would in the front. The back seat is definitely a little bit more roomy because uh, uh, it's just me. But if I was sitting in the front, uh, it would be a little bit tighter because you can see you only have like these two sections. But I've got plenty of space. You can fit four people in here. Uh, and like to balance the plane, you got to make sure you stay on the, the proper side. And uh, they're just finishing up the last minute checks and we're going to be flying high soon. I'm kind of like cozy. It's actually really nice. Here's your checklist. So where, what's the, the next airport we're going to? We're going to a small airport called Orlando North. Orlando North. Okay, all right. All right. Okay. Starting engine. Starting engine checklist. Master please. switch. Coming on. Beacon. Beacon light is on. Mixture is full rich. Throttle. Here it comes. Primer. Stand by. Here it comes. Clear! Clear! Good yell. Clear! Are you ready? I'm yes. ready.
now we're up in the air and uh, it can still sound pretty rough uh, even though I do have this little microphone but uh, yeah we're, we're flying they're harvesting down there oh we're coming in hot oh boy And we're down. That was beautiful. Nice job, Sean. It's kind of blowing my mind how we just literally landed the plane in a random airport and uh, it's like we're just stopping by to grab a headset kind of like your buddy down the street hey man you mind if i swing by and pick up a, a gaming headset but instead we're instead of driving we're flying it, 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 that's kind of crazy isn't it that is crazy. <laughs> yeah like but like sean like everybody has been in this situation right now where you're just like sitting in the car waiting for your buddy who had to run inside and grab something from his buddy's house Except for being in a car, though, we're, like, in a plane. Yeah. Like, it's crazy. <laughs> Check. Nice. I'm ready to go. Captain Nate, ready to fly. Captain Nate, ready to go. Reporting for duty. Soaring. Soaring to tower. Soaring to tower. We are clear for takeoff. There it is, the Magic Kingdom. I can see Cinderella Castle there. Look at that. I'm gonna zoom in. <laughs> Over Disney. Look at that. Wow, look at Big Thunder Mountain. You can see the contemporary. The Grand Floridian is down in the bottom right corner. Bay Lake Tower. Right here, if you look, Cinderella Castle is directly in the middle. We're touching Disney air. I hope you enjoy the show, and incidentally, have a handkerchief handy. If you're like me, you're not only going to laugh a lot, but you're going to shed a few happy tears. So thanks for coming, and again, I'm sorry I can't be there with you personally for this occasion. But here now is follow me boy. We're actually going to be flying now towards Epcot and we're taking the monorail route. You can see the monorail actually right now running alongside of us. Isn't that awesome? And then look. Yeah. Oh! Look at that. Wow. And I see Epcot. Look at World Showcase Lagoon. We're soaring over Epcot. Look at that. Are you guys Googling directions to where we're going to eat? This is one of the craziest things ever. Like, we're just driving around or we're just flying around trying to decide where we want to land the plane to go eat. Like, that's, it's, it's crazy. I love it. It's so fun. I think I can see Daytona Beach from here. Is that the beach over there? Ah. Yeah, we made it to Daytona, Florida. The runway we're landing on also has a restaurant and a bunch of residential. Oh yeah, they have everything. It's like a little town. Yeah, it's, it's a private uh, uh, runway or private flank. And they have a, yeah, they, it's just like everything. So I'm excited. We're coming in hot now. Ooh, nice and easy.
there's the restaurant right there and we're just driving by like a car oh wow look at this they got steak seafood pasta look at this wow look some of these houses have their own like airplane like hangar in their house they fly that often look at that that's somebody's home wow that is so cool holy moly we have made it. We are in Daytona. It's time to get out, go grab something to eat, and I'm hungry. Oh, yeah, I'm hungry. I'm really hungry. Yeah, I'm hungry. We just parked the plane, tied it up, and now we're walking to the restaurant right here. Like, literally, the plane's right over there. Restaurant's right here. I just think this is all so, like, surreal. It's honestly like you're driving with your buddies in a car, but... Like in a plane, actually. Like we just pulled up to someone's house to borrow their headset. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Yeah, just now we're gonna go grab some lunch. You know? Hey, you wanna fly to Daytona for lunch? <laughs> yeah, you know? There used to be a restaurant here called The Downwind, and that's the restaurant we thought we were coming to, but it looks like it closed, and this one just opened up this week. This week. like. It's a brand new restaurant, like a brand new, I mean, it's an old restaurant, but with new ownership and a brand new menu, brand new name. So how crazy is it that we're here on opening week, that we f just randomly decided to fly here on opening week? The restaurant's called the Fly In Cafe. It's got steak, seafood, pasta, pizza, Wi-Fi, a couple of spirits, live music too. And uh, yeah, it's uh, open till nine-ish. <laughs> open till nine ish on sunday through thursday i like that and no time on friday and saturday i decided on getting the chicken parm but as we wait for the food we decided to grab the plane and bring it along uh to the side so we can fill up the tank and get some gas and it's kind of cool so i wanted to show you look at all the planes over there and then uh the restaurant i think we're gonna sit outside it's actually a little cozy out a little outside uh little outside seating here is the gas station, Phillips 66. How much is it a gallon? I'm not sure, it's like five, five, oh, 578. It's right there. There's uh, the price tag. Yeah, five. Oh, so that's not too bad. And it's literally like a gas pump. Look, there's the gallons right there. Yep, so we put in our card right here. We tell it how much fuel we want in gallons or dollars. And then we ground the aircraft for static. Then we pull this hose out. And when we're done, we press this button and it pulls it back in for us. Wow. Yeah. Pumping gas is so cool. Ooh. Fill her up. Oh, <laughs> Look at that. It's crazy. Look at that cool plane just driving by us right now. That's cool. <laughs> the food has arrived and here is my pasta looking good same thing with sean's pasta angel hair angel hair oh is that alfredo too on the side it is wow it looks good i'm excited to dive in i'm gonna go run a marathon after this yeah <laughs> the michael scott uh yeah that's the training method that's the michael scott diet the chicken parm special on the runway well, the food was good, definitely big portion size, and now it's time to hop back in the plane and make our way back home. But it's crazy that, like, the plane is just parked outside. Like, we literally left the, the restaurant right here, and we're walking to the plane just like it's a car. It's right there. <laughs> it just blows my mind, because it's not, like, something I really ever thought, like, like it was like that. Hey, Nate. Catch. Oh. These are the keys to the plane? Your turn, buddy. I'm flying? I'm flying. Dude, I'm tired. I'm hard today. Huh? I'm shaking a little bit, guys, but it's time. My nerves, are, I'm, 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 I'm very, very nervous, so I'm going to take a minute and just relax. Goose Raba. Goose Raba. There we go. Just relax a little bit. I was shaking. I'm not even kidding. But uh, whew, it's time. Here we go. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. Like I, I know I, I, I'm saying thank you because I feel like 
if I didn't have these videos and if I wasn't making these videos and you weren't watching them, I probably wouldn't be in this plane right now. You know what I mean? I, I wouldn't have worked up the courage. I probably would have went through my whole life being afraid of heights and this is a big, this is a big deal. So let's go do this. That is such a cool looking plane right there. All right, I am super nervous, guys, but I am sitting in the front now, and I might actually fly the plane. I'm going to fly the plane. Oh, what? What? Oh, no! Don't do that! Wait! Hey! <laughs> Look at these controls. I, I, I am, like, so excited, but I trust... I, I trust John. Honestly, he's such... He's so, like, he checks everything, like, three times. Literally, he checks everything over and over again. And uh, it just makes me feel better. This is my very first time flying a plane or just being in the front of the plane. I always sit in the back, but I am uh, licensed to actually be a student. Uh, so that is actually really cool to say that I'm a flight student. <laughs> a flight student. That's crazy. Or I'm going to fly a plane! <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> All right, boys and girls. Hop in, Ken. Ready or not. Here we come. Let's make some noise. All right, pre-flight inspection. It's complete. Doors. All right, they're coming closed. Oh. You ready? Yep, passenger briefing. Complete. Do you guys have any questions for me? All good. All right, let's do Seat it. belts and harnesses. Seat belts, good on my side. Harness is good on mine and yours. And Circuit breakers. They are checked all in. All right, start an engine checklist, please. Master switch. It's on. Beacon. It's on. Mixture. It is full rich. Throttle. Slightly open. Primer. It is primed. Propeller area. All right, sir. You know how to clear the area. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh! Oil pressure! And checked! Avionics! Coming on! Flaps! This is so beautiful. Holy moly. I think I'm gonna actually take off. <laughs> I'm a little nervous, but I'm gonna actually take off the plane. We're gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to do something. Pretty dull if Mother Nature used a black and white palette and painted only in shades of gray like this. But before we brighten things up with color in this show, it might be appropriate to recall those times when the movies too had their gray days, way back in the old silent era. In fact, when the animated cartoon was created, nobody gave color a second thought. Giving life to a static comic strip character was magic enough. And as for sound, well, if a cartoon character had something to say, he said it like this. Color, color, color. Walt Disney presents... I didn't film much because uh, I was actually flying the plane uh, and I loved it. This is so cool. Uh, I definitely want to get to the point where maybe eventually one day I can fly my own plane. Right? How cool would that be? Yep. And we're going to call it Pilot Mr. Morrow. <laughs> Pilot. Yeah, Paging Captain Morrow, please. To 
to steer, you actually have to use the pedals, not the steering wheel. So to go left is the left pedal right here, and to go right is the right pedal. Well, that was incredible. Holy moly, I loved it, I can't believe it. I can officially say, yeah, I flew a plane, yeah. And I'm gonna get my pilot license. I'm gonna be a uh, pilot Mr. Morrow. But like, isn't that, or Captain Mr. Morrow, like, oh my lord, this is amazing. I wish I got to film more, but I was too focused on making sure I was doing everything right up front. But uh, Sean was in the back, so he probably got a little footage of me flying and stuff like that but holy moly that was amazing I, I it's such a unique such a I, I I just feel like a rush of life and like just oh it was great what's even crazier is we literally are in the middle of an airfield right now look at us there's like nothing around right here is where we landed and then we just pulled the plane right up like I said the fact that like we're just driving around like a, a regular like of automobile and stuff like that is what kind of just makes it even like cooler and with that we are done here today what an amazing experience and i'm so happy that i got to share it with you guys i'm sorry i didn't film much like you know as i was flying back but uh like i said i was just super super focused on what was uh, happening around me and uh yeah it <laughs> I'm honestly speechless. I don't know what to say other than I'm just so happy and thrilled that I got to do something like this. Gracie is right upon me right here. Let's see Gracie. Gracie. Gracie go. I just flew a, I just flew a plane. You want to you wanna go on a flight with me? Oh, maybe now I could take Gracie to all the places I've ever wanted to go. Oh, that's amazing. But anywho's, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.